Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing some definite integral problems today. We've done some of these in other sections, but uh, nothing specifically focused on definite integrals. So the first problem we're doing today is the integral of e to the negative 2x dx on the range negative 1 to 1. And um, that's all this means. Whenever you see numbers here with the integral, this means that you're going to evaluate this function um, between negative 1 and 1 on the horizontal x-axis. Um, uh, so, for example, if you, um, and I have no idea what this function looks like at all, but say your function looks like this, and here's um, negative 1, and here's 1, what you're going to do is, um, ev is evaluate this area here, because when you take the integral and then um, plug in these two numbers from 1 to negative 1, um, you're solving for the area of the, that space between negative 1 and 1. So um, that is basically the concept in a nutshell. Um, let's go ahead and solve this integral. So um, the first thing that we do is take the integral, and this is um, kind of a rule. We'll write it over here. Um, if we have uh, e to the kx, we're taking the integral of that, um, so this is e to the x, and um, there's a coefficient, like a constant, like 2 or 4, um, on the x um, exponent here. The integral of that is 1 over k to the e kx, so that's just a formula or a rule. So this exponent here, the coefficient on the exponent stays, and we just divide. So what that ends up looking like, um, the entire exponent stays, and we just divide by the coefficient. So, um, so that is the integral, and now we have to evaluate um, from negative 1 to 1. And this is um, shorthand notation, which basically tells you evaluate on this range, um, everything here to the left of this vertical line. So the way that we evaluate, um, first we plug in the number on the top, and then we plug in the number on the bottom, and we subtract um, this, um, this sum from this one. So first we plug in 1 here, so we have um, negative 1 half e to the negative 2, and we're plugging in here for x, of course, so we plug in 1. Um, so that's the top. And then we say minus, and we plug in negative 1. So we have negative 1 half e to the negative 2, and then again, plugging in negative 1 here. So we always do um, the top minus the bottom. This is always a minus sign. The top number is always plugged in first. So um, let's just go ahead and simplify this here. We will have looks like negative one-half e to the negative two. And then since we have minus a negative, that'll change to a positive. Um, so plus one-half. And then we have negative two times negative one, so that ends up being a positive two. So we'll just have e to the two. And then um, since both of the denominators here are 2. We could actually change this to say negative e to the negative 2 over 2 plus um, e to the 2 over 2. Um, I just moved the e squared and the e to the negative 2 up in place of the 1s the to kind of simplify the fractions so that we could see this a little bit easier, the simplification. So since both of these fractions are over 2, um, we can change this to be uh, negative e to the negative 2 <clears throat> plus e to the 2 and then the entire thing over 2. And what I would actually <clears throat> prefer to have us do is, um, if possible, we always like to lead with a positive um, instead of a negative. So it's, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it's just cleaner if we write e squared. We're flipping these two around. e squared first and then minus e to the negative 2 and then that whole thing over two. So this is actually our final answer. Thanks guys!